Hi there, so today I've got an umbrella to show you. Um, I've always wanted one of these and I've never uh, managed to get it in the basket when I've been at an archery retailer online and buy it. Um, so let's have a look at it. There we go. Let's get it out on the top here. So this is what it looks like. Uh, it just comes in a plastic sleeve. So unfortunately, just move my DJ cover up, DJI cover out of the way. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't come with a uh, rain cover sleeve or anything like that. So unfortunately, you're going to have to make one or find one um, from another umbrella. And then once you get the plastic sleeve off, it's got a very nice textured handle. It kind of reminds me like a, a riser grip, to be honest. And then it's got a JVD. This is the JVD edition, by the way, of course. Um, it's got the JVD tag still on it. A Velcro uh, strap here to keep it together. And then if you go down to the bottom end, um, it's got a plastic uh, end, so it's not metal. And then a bit of a rubbery a kind of cap part on the end here. I think a lot of it is actually plastic all the way through, but um, I'm going to open it up now so you're going to get a good look at it. And then we'll have a look at the insides um, just so that uh, we can test with a magnet if there's actually any metal parts inside. Although I do think it's all plastic. Okay, so we've moved to another room so we can just get a wide angle shot. So it does uh, open automatically on its own. And here's the button just here under my hand. So I'm gonna hit it with my thumb. We're gonna see this baby open up. Oh yeah, spring is pretty good on here actually. Um, so one hand use on this. Let's just put it down. So it's a nice design. It's got the JVD logo on the side of it. And then of course this version is the full um, target. You can get the black and yellow centers like the field target types. Um, might go for one of those as well. If we move now to the insides, just flip it over. Actually, let's come in under the umbrella. So as I say, we've got the handle down here uh, with the push open part. It won't close on its own. You need to just pull the uh, hand, the part down. You just need to pull this part down in order to close it up. You can see the big spring here in the middle, which, it, which is why it's quite powerful when you open it up. Um, then it's quite a good structure inside, but I do believe um, it's all plastic. And I'm going to test that in a second um, with some magnets. Right, so I've got some uh, small magnets because they could be plastic coated metal pieces, but I'd be interested to know. Yeah, so there's nothing. Oh, so that part's um, metal on there. No, nothing on here. Nothing on those arms here. No. Go for the main parts, no. So all of that part is plastic, 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 plastic. So it's all plastic. Um, so I don't know how sturdy that would be. Obviously you wouldn't have it out in really high winds. Um, but that part seems to be, even that part's plastic, but that part's got some metal in it. And obviously the, the spring is metal, but the, even the top part right up here is plastic as well. So yeah, so. Yeah, so they are the main pieces. So there's not a lot of metal in this. Uh, probably a good idea if you're caught in a storm, but I uh, just wondered how long it would uh, it would last and where the weak spots are, really. Because there's some small rivets in here as well. But obviously you won't know until I use it, and I haven't used it. Um, but I'm sure it's weatherproof. And for 10 English pounds, or probably about $15, it's not a bad looking umbrella at all. I'm quite amazed that you actually get the uh, automatic open on it for that sort of money. Let's see if I can pull this down with one hand. 
There you go. So it's just a matter of pulling that down. <laughs> and there it goes again. And then you just click it back into the locking mechanism, which is a piece of metal sort of sitting up. And then you're ready to go again. Um, I've got a golf umbrella actually where these pieces fit inside a little cover, uh, inside a little rim edged bit in here, but you don't get that with this one. Okay, so that's the JVD Archery Umbrella. So I just wanted to tell you about the size of it really. So the full length is about 38 inches, which in centimeters is about 96 centimeters long from the end of the handle to the point. So about five to six centimeters wide, depending on how much you kind of compress the umbrella down. Now if I look at the overall width of it, um, and I'm kind of just measuring this from one end uh, to the other. If you're looking for the overall kind of width, it's about one meter 30, or about kind of around 51, 52 inches across. So it's quite a big umbrella. Kind of just to finish off, to give you every single measurement you can. Up to the top there, the full handle is 29 inches, 74 centimeters. Um, or about two feet for the pole, excluding the handle. So 35 inches, 88 centimeters from the full length of the handle down to the uh, roof of the umbrella, to the insides. So that's the end of my um, umbrella review. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon.